Hi, this is Jim Sacklin, your Focal Point Business Coach, and we're talking again this week about Brian Tracy's well-to-well -well formula, and in this case, the 10% formula. And what is that about? It's about using your financials in a way that can work for you. And what do I mean by that? Is A lot of business owners, when they look at their financial statements, they think of them like a the way that a public company thinks about them on their conference call, which is results, answers, uh, measurements of what happened when you're done. But I wanna talk about ways you can think about them proactively in a way that you can use them to make changes in your business. Now, first thing is most small businesses, all businesses in general, but small businesses in particular, deal in incremental changes. Um, you're not going to do 100% change in a short period of time unless you dramatically change your business. So we're gonna talk about smaller changes. So what are achievable metrics? What could you achieve? Could you do 10% on a number of your metrics? That seems to me something that people can talk about, get their heads around. Can I do 10% better? Not do I uh, do 100% better, do I double something, right? Because that means you're changing dramatically what you're doing. 10%, you're changing it in a minor way. But can you get significant results? And that's what the rest of this uh, slide is going to talk about and the kind of results you can get. So I'm going to use a pure example. It's not based on any reality at all. It's just making the numbers work. And the first ones are going to be really simple. They're easy to multiply. And the second one, you're going to see the, the results. So we're going to start off with old revenue and we're going to stop at revenue. I'm not going to go through profit because it gets even better. Uh, but we're going to start with revenue. And we've got a product that we sell for $10,000, whatever it is. Maybe it's a uh, an HVAC system. And this is your average sale price, uh, not in the individual unit, but the average sale price. It's $10,000. You get a thousand leads in a quarter. And we're going to talk about this in terms of quarters, but it's really based in a whatever period you want to measure. A thousand leads. You have a 10% sales conversion. And that means, of course, those thousand leads become a hundred customers for your $10,000 product. You get one sale of that product in a quarter. And that leads you to a quarterly revenue of $1 million. So that's a great business. It's a $4 million a year business. Um, and there you go. It's pretty simple. Now let's make 10% changes to that business. And then let's look at 10% better. So you have an $11,000 product, right? You have 1,100 leads. Now, $11,000 product, what could you do differently? Well, maybe you can bundle some extra things in there. Maybe you find a way of pushing to uh, something that's more at a targeted market um, so that people want to pay a premium for what you do. Maybe you stock more premium products. I mean, there's lots of ways of, of, of thinking about adding revenue. Leads, maybe you do uh, better marketing campaigns, more targeted so that you get more leads generated. So I'm not trying to talk about adding lots of extra money. I'm thinking about can you, get from focus, get a better result? 11% sales conversion. So if you have better quality leads or higher quality products, you're more likely to, to change. And 11% is 10% more than, uh, than, and than 10%. 1.1 sales. So what does that mean? Um, is it a product that, are there follow-on products? Are there maintenance things? Um, that's one way of tracking product sales is can I get people to come in more often, right? Well, what's the result of that? So that's all we've done. We've said, we're going to increase those metrics each 10%. The revenue in that quarter is 1.46 million. 46%, almost 50% better than the old revenue. And that's all we did is small incremental changes across the company to make it better, make it more targeted, make it better understood by its customers. And we've gotten a 46% increase in revenue. So I hope that makes sense. This is Jim Sackman, Focal Point. Change your business, change your life, and have a great day.